When Farmville launched, the 15 minutes of player delight that you can have on Facebook did not exist before. And when we set out to create the next generation of Farmville, we wanted to bring even more player delight. In the console space, it feels like you're, you're going after a much uh, smaller sort of restricted demographic. Here, I feel like we're making games for the entire world. I feel very lucky to be on the Farmville 2 team because it's like a bunch of all-stars really from across the game industry. We wanted people to feel like when they came to Farmville 2, it was a, it was a fresh new experience. The look was really inspired by Farmville, but we wanted to reinvigorate that passion for growing things by making the player feel like the, the game really, really comes to life. So first of all, everything responds to your touch. And going beyond that, we spent a lot of time in trying to make the animals respond to your touch, do really cute things when you feed them, and it'll start bouncing around the screen. You know, it's so happy that you fed it. That's the moment where everybody gets hooked on the game. And uh, the feedback that we're getting in generally has just been really, really positive. And specifically what people are responding well to is just the amount of life that's in the game, how animated things are. And it, it's really, um, uh, pe people are enjoying coming back to it on a daily basis. We knew that it, it just wasn't going to be possible to bring the game to life in the way that we wanted to if we were still in 2D. You know, painting so much 2D art is really, really difficult. So going 3D, it was a practical matter. For Farmville 2, we used 3DS Max, um, and we used the cap system right out of the box. We're able to create assets much faster and create animation much faster. One of the most powerful tools I find using 3DS Max is saving out the poses and then applying the poses to an animation with the auto key turned off. Um, it's able to propagate that pose all the way through the animation. Um, we use that quite a bit for uh, copying poses from one similar species to the next. And we're able to generate animation much quicker, or at least get a blocked version of that animation a lot quicker than if we had to start from scratch. The cat rigging system solves a lot of the problems uh, that you encounter on any game project. And frankly, as someone who has to do the rigging, it's a lot less management for me. And we can concentrate on solving the harder problems to solve. One of the things that's really, really different about being here at Zynga and being in the social space is we hear from our customers every day. We learn what they like, we learn what they don't like, and we're constantly adding new behaviors to the game. Going 3D actually made it much easier for us to model things once and then add lots of animations to things. We put out a feature the other day where there's a little trough that's, you know, it's got a little shady spot where your animals like to go sleep. And uh, we actually found that when we started building it, um, that we wanted to add some more behaviors to the animals. In the past, that would have been really expensive. In fact, one of our animators did it without even being asked. I don't think that could have ever happened if we were still in 2D. It is one of the most creative teams I've ever worked for. This is a team of rock stars. This is a team of, of, of people who really want to create a great product for the users. The turnaround in projects is always going to get faster. And the projects themselves have to, have to be very, very limber. And I think in using a product like 3ds Max and Cat, off-the-shelf solutions um, is the way to go because you can't reinvent the wheel every time. If you need to turn out a game in six months, there's no way you're going to turn that project around if you're just trying to make a brand new pipeline every single time. So you have to lean much more heavily on the technology and on the software products you're using. And I think that's the way forward, is to just use the stuff off the shelf, make a great game, and we can all go home at six. <laughs>